You're kidding. No. But you just met him. I will never be in this apartment again. Well, we've spent a lot of time together. All those times we share, over. And, you know, we hate saying goodbye, so we figured why not move in together? You know, solve the problem. Not that Rose needs defending or anything, but you know, he is very nice. He's nice. Oxymoron. <sighs> I knew it. Holly, what's the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. I said Holly. I know what you think the problem is, Joe. Energy. But I want to talk to somebody who's got a grasp on reality. When I'm interested in views from the other side, I'll let you know. Wow, you're actually moving in. Taking the big plunge. The old ball and chain. Life in prison. <laughs> you guys are just jealous because you're not dating anyone yourself. Absolutely. No diggity doubt. <laughs> oh, Tony, did I tell you? Mark here's changing his name. <laughs> really? No diggity doubt. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. 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 It's like smooth, but with a V. That's not a word. What the hell is smooth? It's like smooth, only smoother. Yeah, don't you mean smoother? Oh, why can't you guys just give me a break? Let, let me do what I want to do. Look, Anthony here can move in with a lesbian. No one says a word. I want to change my name to smooth, and the whole world stops. See, now I thought you were changing your name to smooth with a V. Smooth! <laughs> it's for you. You're getting calls on my phone now? Who is? Somebody named Juan. Juan, from the basketball team. What's happening, Poppy? Rose, is he worth losing everything you've worked for? Are your friends, your work at the center? Why do I have to give any of that up? You just do. When we met you, you were a lesbian. We love you as a lesbian. Rose, you have to be a lesbian. Oh, please, she's still a lesbian. How could she be a lesbian if she's dating a guy? Oh, come off. We all know plenty of dykes who have relationships with men. Yeah, and we all laugh at them, including you. Well, I was wrong. I mean, I never knew anybody who did it, but... Now Rose has fallen for a guy, and I know her, and I know she's as queer as any of us. Give me a break, Ronnie. You have to see the lie in lesbians dating men. Not anymore. I used to, but... Well, I do. Honey, please. This doesn't concern you. Do what? I see the lie in lesbians dating men. Yeah. But you're not lying to anyone about this. this is... You're being open about Tony. No, I don't, mean, I don't mean lying to other people. I mean lying to myself. What are you saying? I knew it. She's saying she's straight, just like Denise. Rose? As usual, Joe's wrong. Thank God. But uh, I'm not a lesbian, though. I can't be. I love Anthony. I lust after Anthony. I'm not listening. You're not bringing this when you're moving with Rose, are you? You know what? It's rap music. So? So? Lesbians hate rap music. They find it homophobic. Let's see what else you'll be giving me. Look, I'm taking them all, all right? You have no idea what you're talking about over there. No idea, huh? If it wasn't for us, you never would have gotten past go with this girl. That's right. Because of you guys, I made a complete ass of myself on that first date. I mean, it's amazing she ever saw me again. What were we wrong about? Everything. Not the sex part. Especially the sex part. Hey, 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 hey. Don't even try to squirm out of it, okay? You were there right along with these guys. Be careful, you might hurt her. I mean, it was humiliating. There it was on a first date telling her, I don't want to hurt you. How can you see? And you're not even average. Look, I'm... Th well, it doesn't matter now. She's not a lesbian anymore. That's right, man. You did the impossible. You turned back a lesbian. High five. What are you talking about? She's still gay. Excuse me? I thought I heard you say she was still gay. Me too. I did. Tony, how the hell can a lesbian be in love with a man? Hmm, I don't know. You guys are the experts. Why don't you tell me? Ricky Lake never had that topic. Can't help you there. Me What's neither. Not? It sounds weird. It's not weird, okay? Let's just drop this. No, Tony, we're not dropping anything. Are you sure she still calls herself a lesbian? Yeah, I know she does, okay? She just she just can't went to the community center last night. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? This is terrible. What are you Doesn't it bother you that she says she's gay? No. Okay, in fact, uh, what do I care? It's none of my business. What do you mean it's none of your business? This is totally your business. How? Is she ashamed of you? No. Are you sure? Yes. Sure. Well, are you, are you sure she's not, like, ashamed you're a man? Oh, Chris, this is ridiculous. You've hung out with us. Does she seem ashamed? Well, no. On the surface, she seems fine. I mean, but looks can be deceiving. And Samantha, at first look, looks human, but she's really about I as nice as... I can't believe this. What, you're now going to compare Samantha and Rose? What's gotten into you? 
Nothing's gotten in to me, man. I'm just concerned for you. I don't want to see you get hurt. I love you, man. You're my best friend. Wait, wait, wait. When did this come into your head? I've been thinking about it a lot, actually, since I met Tony. He never mentioned the B word to me. Well, I don't know. I've just been thinking about it lately. And I, I went to this meeting at the center for Oh, my God! You actually went to Bias? Bias? Bisexuals Achieving Solidarity, a yeah. support group. Better known as Swingers Are Us. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe this. You too, Veronica? Well, I don't care who you fuck, okay? But you are lesbian. You love women. You're for the gay movement. What, and if I say that I'm bisexual, then I can't be for those things? You said yourself that being a lesbian was a political thing. It was. Oh, was. So, now that you've met a guy, all of a sudden we're not important anymore. I hate to admit it, Joe, but it looks as if you were right. Better late than never. You know, just because I, I'm a bisexual, it doesn't mean that I'm any less involved. Yeah, but your identity is less. Oh, that is such garbage. No, listen. You tell someone you're a lesbian. It brings up certain connotations. It's a stance. What kind of fucking stance is bisexual? It is the same fucking stance. The, the straights, they're, they're not gonna want half of me. They're gonna hate me still. To them, I'm another faggot. Not if you're walking around holding some guy's hand, nut. It says you're a breeder, a damn sellout. God, I can't believe this. You guys. A half hour ago, you were my friend. Now that I tell you that I'm no longer lesbian, that I'm bisexual, it's like I have some disease. Well, bisexuals are the ones who spread oh, the... God, that is our fucking community. bullshit, yo! God, why don't you guys just get the fuck out, all right? Wait, all of you. Everybody, everybody, bro. Wait, let's all just talk this out. Why don't you want to talk? Because you see how there's a flaw in your argument. Really? Where? You know yourself, there's nothing political in sitting on a fence. It's wishy-washy. You simply can't like both. It's wrong. Well, I do. You, you sound just like my fucking father. You can't like women. It's wrong. And I'm going to tell you guys the exact same thing that I told my dad. Oh, yeah? What was that? Deal with it. And if you can't, then just get the fuck out of my life. Because there is no room in my world for people who can't accept me for who I am. I don't need your bad energy. Why doesn't she say she's straight? She's in a straight relationship. She should say she's like us. Why do you guys care? We're men. We look out for our own kind. Especially when one of us is compromising himself. How the hell am I compromising? By letting herself call herself gay. It's a complete, it's a complete insult to your manhood. Rose loves me. Oh, does she really? I would never have a girlfriend that was embarrassed of me. That explains why you never had a girlfriend, but we're talking about Rose now. Are you embarrassed she's been with women? No, of course No, not. no, you told everyone. You, you, you weren't embarrassed. Then why is she still calling herself a lesbian? I, I don't know exactly. She's embarrassed. That's it, she's embarrassed. You cannot move in with her. All right, now I'm not saying you shouldn't try and work things out, but this move must be postponed. And, you know, you're a little tense. No wonder. I mean, she's running around, you know, calling wait, herself wait, a lesbian. Wait, 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 what are you doing? Well, you know, I'm just trying to loosen you up a bit. You're a little tight. No, no, I mean, no, I, I know exactly what you're doing. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Samantha was right. I mean, all this time, I never even realized. Realized what? Look, it has to be wrong if it came spewing forth from the fountain of misinformation. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought, too, but now all this. Oh, what? The, the I love you, Tonys. The we have to postpone the move. The massaging my shoulders. I see it all now, Chris. I don't get it. Me neither. Look, guys, he's really <laughs> upset. Maybe it'll be best if you just left the two of us alone. We can see, work this... See, there it is again. What? What? Chris is in love with me. <laughs> I'm what? Chris. You never told us you were gay. We would have understood. I'm not gay, you idiot. Where the hell did you get that from? Okay, fine. How come you never have a girlfriend? Well, because I'm a jerk. That is true. He never has a girlfriend. But he is also a jerk. Also true. <laughs>